Whoa, what's up? Today's video is titled Eddie Griffin calls grip for you, but for Vlad, priceless. God damn it. Now, if you new here, what the fuck we do here is read, listen, watch, and we block talk, break that shit down. And yeah, I got when that Eddie Griffin laid up there and attempted to overcharge the YouTube channel, the Black Authority the black authority and if y'all don't know them go check them out for constant great fucking content you dig once again that's the black authority now the black authority laid up there and tried to interview uh what his name is eddie griffin thinking he on the real side of the game try to you know thinking he gonna get some good content from him maybe he might give you a little inside scoop you dig but nah eddie griffin laid up there and said he cost 10 fucking g's you witnessing the Rebel Network. Now, see, off rip, y'all probably thinking, yeah, bro, that's business prices, you dig? Because he black nigga ain't gonna be just going cheap. He can't be lowballing and shit like that. But when you think of it from this fucking uh, aspect of it, guess what uh, the black authority said he said to Eddie Griffin? Yeah, I charge you that, you dig, if that's what Vlad paid. Matter of fact, how much did Vlad pay you? You are witnessing the Rebel Network. You know what the fuck he said? Oh, I know Vlad. You know Vlad. How the fuck do you know Vlad? Do you know Vlad with your fake ass? You don't know who the fuck the black authority is out here doing the real motherfucking work in these streets, goddammit? You don't know him, but you know who Vlad is? You know how you know Vlad, don't you, from fucking YouTube? So that means you cuts on YouTube. You watch it. So I guess you ain't on no real shit. You don't know who the motherfuck the black authority is. You know Vlad as if you grew up with him. Huh? You and uh Vlad used to shoot dice together or some shit. What kind of bitch made that shit is that? You know Vlad. Vlad don't give a fuck about none of y'all fake coon ass out there interviewing to him, goddammit. Yeah, matter of fact, that dude, I mean, interviewing for him, goddammit. Matter of fact, he even brag about not paying for interviews, talking about, oh, it's journalism and all of that little dumb shit. And y'all be up there spilling your guts for him, huh? Some of y'all be on the show crying, I don't know what I'ma do, and man, I lived a rough life giving them all kind of headlines, and he ain't giving y'all a penny. You know how much fucking money Vlad making off that channel? I'll wait, because you don't know how fucking much he making, but I bet you he a fucking millionaire while your dumb ass crying on his channel about being either washed up or about uh being a new celebrity and getting money and doing ignorant shit, you did just helping them stay rich. But you on there spilling your guts and let uh, the black authority try to get you. Let me try to interview you or some bullshit. I bet you it'd be 20 G's, 10 G's, 20 G's. there will be 50 G's here. Oh, Black Talk News, we don't know you $50,000. God damn it, what? And you, you ain't gonna look at our uh, channel and do no research to see, oh, these some brothers who bought something, you know, shit like that. Not that I'm comparing myself to the black authority or no shit like that, you did. The the opinions of BTN is only that of BTN, not YouTube, you did. But see, uh, brothers like us is doing a fucking work out here and you can't do it for free and your uh, reply was because you know Vlad. Did you grow up with Vlad, nigga? You dig? Did you go to middle school with Vlad? Nigga, fuck Vlad. Vlad don't give a motherfucker about you. And we gonna go in depth on Vlad, Vlad fake ass anyway. But what the fuck he be doing to some of you celebrities? That dude be embarrassing the fuck out of y'all. Oh, so you don't have money? Uh, you know, uh, oh, damn. Now, you slip and fell. How embarrassing was that dude be exploiting the fuck out of y'all? Black exploitation? Then the motherfucker taking pictures like this and shit with y'all. I'm gonna show you his Twitter. You think he bought that lifestyle? Fuck no, he ain't about that lifestyle. And some of y'all, what y'all be doing on this little page? I'll wait. You are witnessing a rebel network. You be on this fucking page snitching on your goddamn self. Yeah, I, I did it. And then when I ran over there, I saw Tupac and I was like, yeah, Tupac, you want me to hit him? Yeah, I'm gonna hit him. Yeah, all right, Tupac, I got the artist dry snitching on yourself, snitching on Tupac, snitching on the gang, all kind of people. And by the way, that was an example for some of you clowns. But y'all know how them stupid ass rappers be on there uh, telling all the goddamn business. Oh, uh, don't think uh you gang. Gangsters are supposed to be gangsters. Or some of your legitimate gangsters don't think you get a motherfucking pass on BTN. Because what the fuck you be doing on the nigga channel, OGs, original gangsters? 
I'll wait because you be on this motherfucking channel letting him know the inner workings and the formings of the Crip gang and the Blood gang or whatever organizations. Oh, Black Panthers was with us at first, goddamn. Black Panthers had started everything and then they branched off. They were like, fuck it, we need to get this money. We gonna turn it to Crips. We gonna turn it to Bloods and then we gonna beef with each other. Oh, shit, the government that gave us crack and all of that. Rick Ross telling the people how he ran and said, y'all don't get no motherfucking pass. I don't give a fuck if you know real Rick Ross, nigga. You, that shit ain't glorious what you did helping them fucking fuck over the community working for the FBI yeah you don't get no fucking pass out here because you was running that shit oh I was driving the car with all of this dope and all of this cracking I'm the real Rick Ross I don't give a fuck who you is you worked for them fucking people and you knew you was working for them god damn it spreading that shit throughout fucking Los Angeles and all of our communities that still ain't fucking uh, get back together after what the fuck you helped them do Rick Rick Ross. So none of you, none of you OGs don't get no fucking pass either up there giving them them free interviews. You're promoting your motherfucking book and shit, goddammit, on this channel. Yeah, some people gonna see it, but that don't mean they gonna buy it. You make that fool pay you. Because if that was me, oh shit, I done ran into the original Crip. Hey man, let me interview you, original Crip. You know I'm on the rise, this BTN. You know, tell them how fucked up, how this shit fucked up up our community and all of this here, you did. Let everybody know that drugs and hustling and all that shit that's a one way ticket they call it a trap because it is a trap god damn it it leads to nowhere but your motherfucking debt either through incarceration god damn it or through fucking physical god damn it on the blood on the goddamn ground bleeding profusely and shit you dig you're witnessing a rebel network how much you think rick ross and him would have charged me I want twenty thousand. Look, well, I gotta get some young blood would have told me all kind of motherfucking shit and y'all know it's true God damn it. But let's go through this shit. Let's find out who bad is, you did. Because uh apparently, um Eddie Griffin grew up with the nigga. My bad. Eddie Griffin, you grew up with the nigga and shit. You know Vlad, but you don't know real people like the black authority and what the fuck he mean to the community though. And y'all be reminded that this is block talk news. That mean I speak for the block, god damn it. I speak like the block. This is the motherfucking block. You understand me? If you don't like that, you can get the fuck. Because when I say a cursed word, frogs ain't gonna fall from the motherfucking fly. You under uh, from the motherfucking sky, y'all know what I mean but that just mean I'm getting even more passionate let's read this shit as we settle down god damn it you witnessing the rebel network Vlad Labouvene Labouvene or some bullshit what is that look already what the fuck this this who you know commonly known as DJ Vlad is an American interviewer journalist director and former DJ he is a CEO of video and news website Vlad TV his YouTube channel DJ Vlad features interviews of multiple music artists and entertainers and currently has over 3 million subscribers he has also produced and directed films hmm that's the nigga you know let's go even further since y'all noticed the first thing they said about dj vlad it wasn't no dj dj shit like the beginning of his fucking name dj vlad god damn it they didn't say that they said he's an american interviewer a journalist a director and former dj like he just was DJing for a long ass fucking time or something out here. Get your silly ass out of here, boy. Let's go to the next one, goddammit. Uh, Born. June 28, 1973. He 46 years old. University of California, Berkeley. Oh, you went to Berkeley with him, Eddie Griffin? You did? You know him? And this ain't only about Eddie Griffin for some of you idiots who think I'm just attacking Eddie Griffin. That's why I named the examples. I'm talking about you OGs, old celebrities, new celebrities, all of y'all, goddammit. But I'm going to attack the shit out of him just for, for, for the blasphemy, goddammit, for the act of sin that he committed, for trying to charge this man 10 motherfucking thousand Gs, goddammit, for that stupid ass interview with your dumb ass who ain't even probably got no good content for the motherfucking man let's go to the next shit look associated acts law jamal trade e boosie and godfrey man fuck out of here only two of them le legitimate that's law jamal and godfrey boosie probably was on your shit cooning and got trade e 
I saw you on the motherfucker agreeing with him about reparations, but we'll wait on that reparation talk. But that was a huge fucking disappointment. Go to the fucking next slide. Because we all know that Eddie Griffin was born. You know, he was raised around him. He know him. That's his partner and shit. Vlad Labouvenet or whoever the fuck he is, born to a Russian Jewish family and moved to the United States at the age of five. First living in Massachusetts before, li before moving to San Mateo in California. Labouvenet was interested in hip hop in his youth. In his youth, my bad. And states that he fell in love with any NWA when they released their debut album straight out of Compton. So when you met him, you met him when he was uh when he first got you, you dig uh, Eddie Griffin, your partner, when he came from Russia. This is the nigga who y'all let call himself a DJ and act like he is so embroiled in hip hop. He buried in that hip hop shit. He'd be like, I was around, I was doing this shit, I was with it. Y'all know who the fuck Vlad was? Vlad was that stupid ass boy on motherfucking uh with my movie is CB4. He the white kid who was the son of a senator and shit, goddammit. And he was like straight out of low cash, a crazy motherfucker name, damn Mike. He that kid in this fucking room just hyped up to our lifestyle and our fucking culture, goddamn it, and wanted to be like us ever since, goddamn it. He was born to a Jewish Russian family. Ain't that about a bitch? Get your silly ass out of here, boy. Go to the next slide on. Look, there you go, right there. DJ Vlad, this your leader. This the, this the leader of hip hop culture. I told y'all, I'm coming for everything. Off with everybody fucking head. This is revenge through motherfucking BTN, goddammit. I'm coming for all you motherfuckers, especially your silly ass, boy. Look at that smile on his face, goddammit. That's what give me the energy to do what the fuck I need to do around this bitch. Let's go to the next one. You are witnessing a rebel network. Le Bouvier, whatever the fuck that boy name is, majored in computer science round this bitch at the U University of California, Berkeley. Yo, Eddie Griffin, did you meet the nigga at Berkeley? You know you grew up with him. I know Vlad. That my nigga. Me and Vlad got a secret handshake and shit. You hear me? When did you meet? Did you meet the nigga at the University of Berkeley, you hear me? Did you? I don't think so. I don't think you went there. I don't think I saw that about you, goddammit. And claims to have worked for Intel Sun Microsystems and Autodesk while attending. He was able to get a six-figure job out of college due to the dot-com bubble around the turn of the millennium, goddammit. Did you meet him when that nigga hopped out of college and immediately got a six-figure fucking job, y'all? How many of us can do that? He hop out of college. Hop out that bitch. Six figures. Damn. Damn. Vlad, you hopping out doing it like that round this motherfucker? Six figures off rip? You know how many fucking young black people got so many fucking degrees out the ass and can't get a job for shit and you know I'm telling the motherfucking truth but Vlad is your leader in hip hop? I want his motherfucking head. You understand what I'm saying? He was able to get a six figure fucking job. Le Bouvier was initially, initially making hip hop beats. Now read this part. Pay attention to this part, y'all. But later quit when he realized he would not be successful at it. That mean that stanky motherfucker quit. Look, matter of fact, that mean he was a DJ probably for a month or two. But you call him DJ Vlad and got that silly motherfucker embroiled in our motherfucking culture like he running shit. Like he was there before when the pot just added the water and shit, goddammit. When we just added the secret sauce, he was there burling with us, goddammit. Or boiling for you. Uh, pronunciation loving motherfuckers like he was there when we was cooking he DJ Vlad this thing, this fake motherfucker ain't even stick to the culture you know how when niggas uh, spray tag shit in New York or wherever you spray tag they do that shit forever be grown men doing that shit when you break dance you fucking break dance you can't do it in your older years but you revel in the motherfucking times don't you You'll be like I used to break dance, goddammit. We was breaking back in my day. Them people love that. But you, Vlad, what did you do? Man, I was trying to DJ. I tried to make beats, but 
later realized I would not be successful at it. So your muster was fucking garbage, god damn it. Because anybody who think they're a DJ, they be like, I'm the best fucking DJ and I'm gonna make everybody recognize. I'm the best DJ on the motherfucking planet, god damn it. So what, you ain't understand your talent? You ain't believe in yourself? No, you was fucking garbage and you quit. But you, you being called DJ Vlad while other kids on the fucking YouTube and shit and grown men call themselves DJs and can barely get a fucking click, god damn it. This video for them with your fake ass, you DJ Vlad though. He DJ Vlad though around this bitch. Let's continue. You witness in the Rebel Network. He began DJing after experimenting with a friend's equipment. In a 2010 interview with Parley Magazine, he stated, I kind of reached this point where I was like, I really want to do music. Let me try and concentrate and do music as well. He also directed on American Gangsta, some more bullshit for our community, goddammit, with old snitching ass Frank Lucas. You can say what you want, but he motherfucking snitch. Them cops ain't the only ones he snitched on. You know that he, smith he snitched on motherfucking uh, the Harlem Gangsta, uh, Mickey Barnes, goddammit. God damn it, Nicky Bones, whatever the fuck his name was. Y'all know who they was, god damn it. Let's go to the next one. I don't give a damn about him being on a documentary series called Ghost Ride the Rip. Whip, god damn it. Get your fake ass out of here. They should have beat your ass up next to the whip, god damn it. But we at B2N do not, uh, we don't promote violence. Everything said by BTN is pure comedy and entertaining, god damn it. Le Bouvier <laughs> later launched Vlad TV. So, he tried to do the DJ shit for a couple months, like I said, right? Right? Like, by what the fuck we just read? <laughs> he later launched Vlad TV. He moved to New York and released the Rap Phenomenon mixtape series. He was also doing hip-hop DVDs, but was struggling as the DVD sales was declining. Look, he couldn't even be one of them, uh, what that boy name is that, uh, way the best of DJ Khaled. He couldn't even be that, you know, with his untalented ass. He couldn't even get people around him to make good music and just put his dumb ass voice and name on it. On the bullshit you know be like y'all the best that's what he need to be fucking saying what did you do from what i'm told there's a whole team behind dj Khaled. this dumb motherfucker vlad couldn't even do that god damn it dvd sales was declining y'all see that shit in 2008, LeBouvier turned his attention towards YouTube, which had recently launched its partnership program. Look, he saw an opportunity to make uh, money with his college graduating ass, six-figure receiving that. Declined to drop all the other, in I mean, he decided to drop all them other endeavors and shit and start doing his thing on YouTube full-time. In April, he got starting Buck Wild to fuck with him, you know. Throughout the 2010s decade, YouTube, his YouTube channel and grow. Yeah, whatever, motherfucker, with his dirt ass. You witnessing a rebel network to the next slide. In 2016, Vlad TV featured controversial YouTuber Tommy Sotomayor on the show. During the live broadcast documentary, producer and author Tariq Nasheed confronted Tommy Sotomayor about the statements that had been made about the man motherfucking family. This led to an on-screen verbal argument. Now, all the bullshit that done happened on that old coon-ass channel, why did they bring that up? That's a few between two men that involve that man's fucking family. You understand what the fuck I'm saying? Why did they have to bring that bullshit up? Like, what? that's not a highlight of his show. You know how much shit has been said on his show? God damn it. Just the other day, I heard that Dolomite was gay. Dolomite, god damn it. You know, I only saw that shit for a second when uh my daddy was on the little movie. Like, I ain't sat there and watched Dolomite so many times, but I heard on it. No, that was on Comedy Hype. Y'all be sure to check out Comedy Hype, because I believe that that's a black young man involved with that, god damn it. But damn, Dolomite, uh, gay. Ain't that a bitch, but that's neither here nor there. Y'all understand what I'm saying about this fake motherfucker Vlad? 
And matter of fact, y'all, we know why they highlighted this. We know why. Because this is propaganda. They'd rather show you two uh, black men at odds but are educated and have a different view of opinions, goddammit. they they rather show you them but button heads and shit. You understand me? they rather show you that, not all the rapper beefs or rock star beefs and all of that bullshit. They ain't highlight that, but they won't talk about this, bruh. Let's keep fucking going. You witnessing the Rebel Network. Work. Look at him as we almost close it out because we got one one more photo. But let's take a pause on this dirty motherfucker. Look at that smile. Don't it look like, yeah, I got you, niggas. I got you, y'all. Matter of fact, where's the uh court cases? Uh, we ain't about to close nothing now. We got a lot more, goddamn. Hold up. Where's the cases at? Here you go. There you go, see? It gets fucking better. You are witnessing the Rebel Network. Thank you to the real ones who still around this bitch with that attention span around this motherfucker, you did. Let's read. Lawsuits. In August of 2008, LeBouvenet also allegedly assaulted by rapper Rick Ross Entourage after he covered a story on the rapper's former career as a correction officer. LeBouvenet filed a $4 million lawsuit in April um, 2010. A New York federal jury gave that fake-ass, snitching-ass, bitch-ass nigga $300,000 in his civil lawsuit, finding Ross liable for uh, setting LeBouvenet up for the attack at the Ozone Awards in Houston. Y'all see that? So you told on people, I thought you was the hip hop head. I thought you was on um, DJ Vlad. DJs don't snitch either. You in the cult, you in the culture, ain't you? You in the middle of this shit. You was there from the beginning. You fell in love with NWA. Straight out of low cash. I mean, straight out of uh straight out of uh low cash, goddamn it. Yeah, on C B4. Straight out of low cash, motherfucker. A crazy motherfucker named Dead Mike and all of that. I thought you fell in love with NWA though. God damn it Niggas with attitude You think niggas with attitude Would snitch on people Niggas with attitude Would have caught up With Rick Ross Would have said Rick I know y'all jump me You know I know you set me up But let's meet up here Me and you could just Do this one on one Why you had to get Niggas to do it Why you had to get People to jump in And shit you did I'm DJ Vlad Around this bitch I ain't snitching I ain't about to uh, You know try to get No money out you I ain't calling no court We could meet up now Me and you And Vlad ain't no Small frail nigga He a big ass Russian Look like Why he ain't meet up With Ross Nah but y'all Respect the motherfucker after this, god damn it. But wait, there's say that wait, there's motherfucking more. It really get uh interesting, god damn it. Bam. You witnessing the rebel network. Cause I'm about to get mad. Another lawsuit was filed against LeBouvenet's company Hot in Hair Inc. Vlad TV. In April 2018, a former employee alleging that alleging that her company did not compensate that that company did not compensate her for her overtime work while fucking pregnant, along with Labouvier making racially and sexually inappropriate remarks such as "Black people aren't slaves anymore." Let's stop right there. Y'all heard what the fuck they just said? That a pregnant black girl want her motherfucking money back from his fake ass and look at the type of shit he was saying to her. Black people ain't slaves no more. Well, bitch, if they not slaves, why your bitch made ass company can't even pay her? Would you think they she just like them coon ass entertainers who work for you for free, huh? Bitch, if they ain't slaves, why you ain't give her her motherfucking money with your bitch made ass? And if I was working in that bitch. <laughs> Let's not even uh go there, goddamn it. Racism isn't as bad as it was. It isn't as bad anymore. You heard what he said? Racism isn't as bad anymore. That's what Vlad, yo DJ, for any of you fucking fake bitch man motherfuckers who gonna hop in the comments. You racist, get your fake ass out of here if you black, I don't need you. And if you're white, fuck you, we don't need you here. But this is what DJ Vlad said, the hip hop dude. Race, racism ain't as bad as the shit used to be. Bitch, it's supposed to be non-existent. The fuck you mean? But I know you are 
Look, you probably a liberal. That's how all you little liberals stink. You old Li Elizabeth Warren type motherfuckers. Kamala Harris side of the game type motherfuckers. You understand? Joe Biden voting ass motherfuckers. Get your silly ass out of here. Or whatever. It is a woman putting into the. It's what all the women is putting into their behinds these days. Telling her she should be like all the other ignorant bitches and stick some cement in their booty for attention or just to walk around the office so his big pedophilic ugly looking ass could be looking at her. Probably harassing her sexually after that, goddamn it. Matter of fact, that's what the fuck she said. He gonna say she should get ass shots for all you black women watching, goddamn it. If you watch his fake ass show, she should get ass shots because that's what the idiots on love and hip hop and everything else you watch fucking doing, huh? That's why she should do it. But this is your fucking leader. I want they fucking head. You witnessing the rebel network. Let's continue, goddamn it. In reference to an uncomfortable office chair she bought to his attention. So he told her that fake shit just because she said, bro, that fucking chair uncomfortable. He said, bitch, you should get ass shots. What kind of shit is that? But you're an unsubscribed amido behind one of these fake motherfuckers. The employee also alleges that LeBouvenet berated her after she claimed she was subjected, subjected to sexually inappropriate conduct by a member of the guest entourage after they touched her stomach and breast and made sexual comments about her to another female employee. Y'all heard that bullshit? Y'all heard that, right? So basically, he went to her fake ass after she was sexually assaulted by one of them bitch made rappers or whoever the fuck entourage you did. They touched her stomach and her fucking breast and made sexual con comments or whatever. And I know some of you fake motherfuckers probably uh trying to give it the benefit of the doubt. She probably was. She probably did this. I don't give a fuck what the fuck she probably did, goddammit. If she didn't tell them to touch shit, they shouldn't have fucking touched it so that make it fucking assault. God damn it I don't give a fuck About none of that Fake shit That some of you Bitch made niggas Try to use To write this Bullshit off Nigga the fucking woman was pregnant and they fucking put hands on her and did fake shit and I wish I knew who the fuck the rapper was, goddammit. Made sexual comments to to another female. So much for motherfucking female empowerment though, huh? Where the fuck is uh me too in them at now, nah, huh? If this was after 2018, where the fuck y'all at? Me too and all of that. Where uh Terry Crews fake ass at? Where everybody at? When he did that fake ass shit telling a woman to get ass shots and all of that and cursed her out for telling his bitch made ass that she was sexually a fucking salty. You understand what I'm saying? You dig, y'all? But they get this who get a free interview though. Black authority, nigga, 10 G's. I want 10 G's, 20 G's, 15 G's. BTN, what? Who the fuck is BTN? Y'all need to pay me. Get your bitch made ass out of here, Eddie Griffin. What the fuck you did your whole career, anything? Anyway. Nothing of substance, nigga. You ain't do nothing of substance. What the fuck was Eddie Griffin ever in that was real? I'll fucking wait. Because everything he was in was tap dancing. Even Malcolm and Eddie, goddammit. Your character was the irresponsible one, you fucking loser. Your character was, oh, what's happening, my nigga? And I know how to dance. And Michael Jackson, I love Michael Jackson with your Michael Jackson. Nigga, you obsessed with Michael Jackson on the slick or something, huh? What's up with you and Michael Jackson, little nigga? Fake ass boy. Here you go. The next slide. It said when little baby almost made DJ Bla DJ Vlad bitch. Fuck D. There ain't no DJ. Take that shit off his name. When uh when little baby almost made Vlad blow his cover as an informant. I clicked on that video and I wish I could have provided that bitch today. God damn it. But um the baby or whatever said. Yeah, I got into the fight while I was at this little program, you know, for uh inmates or whatever the fuck he was saying. And Vlad, little bitch, bitch ass laid up there and said, oh, was it with a white dude? And he was like, yeah, but how the fuck you know that? How you know? 
He talking about, oh, I uh, think you mentioned it before. Nah, your fake ass probably knew what popped off. They probably told you about the shit beforehand, goddammit. Talking about, was it racially motivated? Oh, what did, how come you ain't figured this time that everybody in jail was black? How all of a sudden you knew that it was a white dude he fought and it was over some racial shit? <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. How the fuck did he know that? But well, let's read a little more. <clears throat> Look, that shit say, is DJ Vlad an informant? To me, he is. One way or another, directly or indirectly, he's an informant. Now, I don't give a fuck how you feel about it. By now, ain't no DJ Vlad fan even watching this shit by now. If you still watching this shit and you started off a fan, goddamn, I'm pretty sure you're not a fan now. Right now, you're pressing fucking subscribe to over here, goddamn it, BTN, bitch. Perpetuates a lot of nonsense. You are witnessing a rebel network. At least somebody told him. Number fucking coonery. Soldier boy. Yeah, I leaned down to the floor and I shot twice. Bah, 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 bah. And then as I was falling, bah, I shot the other dude. Bah, and all of that funny shit that happened. Number coon shit. Nigga, and y'all interviewed him for free. Soldier boy, you know how much fucking money he made off that viral moment you gave him? God damn it. And the rest of y'all, you rather go cry on Vlad for free. But you can't go fuck with uh comedy hype. You can't go fuck with the black authority. You can't fuck with BTN or nobody like that. None of these black channels, huh? Fake ass boys. You witnessing the rebel network. Look at them. That's your mans. If you're from New York, you know where that come from. That's your mans. That's your fucking mans. That's him right there, goddammit. And look, this how we go in the motherfucking show. This how we go in the show. Reading this, goddamn it. If anybody's still on the motherfucking fence, this how we go in the goddamn show. I fully support reparations for African Americans, possibly in the form of free college education, because he tired of you niggas being dumb. We'll we'll make an incentive and just make it free. God damn it. Knowing that that shit don't relate to blacks. When that shit become free, that's all about white kids going to fucking school for free. Because they the ones who going to hop out like DJ Vlad and get a six-figure job while you going to hop out that motherfucker with none but degrees and none but six figures of fucking debt with your black ass. Now tell me I'm wrong. Now tell me I'm fucking wrong in a possible form of co matter of fact bitch reparations is worth way more than a fucking college education expense god damn it give a fuck about no debt to no college you and elizabeth warren and bernie sanders need to sit your stupid ass down you witnessing a fucking awakening motherfucker ain't nobody want that bullshit do you think blacks ever intended to pay your college a uh, college tuition that you know who the fuck is really worried about it white people oh my college tuition i don't know they keep calling man i don't know what to do what you know what black people do when them people call oh they calling for that college tuition type shit oh yeah uh i don't know him uh Oh yeah, yeah, bye. Oh yeah, he don't live in no more. Oh, oh yeah, I ain't gonna never pay that shit. Oh yeah, I have no intentions on ever paying none of that. You know, we tell them shit. You know, we tell them the truth. You can keep calling this shit, you know. I'ma just block every number that you use, bitch. Then I'ma put NA on it. That way I know it's you whenever you call. God damn it if I want to, see? That's how we end that shit on motherfucking Vlad, goddammit, talking about he support reparations possibly in that dumbass college tuition payment. Boy, if you don't sit your silly ass out of here, DJ motherfucking Vlad, look at this clown, y'all. This your fucking leader? This who Eddie Griffin, uh, Eddie Griffin grew up with? A nigga who came from Russia when he was five, y'all? And went to Massachusetts. Oh shit! You was doing the center of hip hop in Massachusetts. Oh, oh, oh. you was doing it. Oh, this San Mateo. Now we know San Mateo is the fucking mecca of hip hop. Once you moved there, boy, you was entrenched. You was engulfed in hip hop. There, huh, Vlad? When you fell in love with N.W.A., boy, you was in San Mateo, the the home of hip hop, huh? 
but this who Eddie Griffin partner is. This who he know. This is his man, you did. Fucking DJ Vlad. Why do they even call you DJ? You DJ for a month, if that, goddamn it. You a goddamn, what they call that shit? Remember on uh, MTV? I don't know how old y'all is. This motherfucker's a video jockey. They used to have the little, the little, uh, Motherfucking uh, little tournament to become a video jockey. We, I forgot that boy damn who won with the blind hair and shit. This motherfucker admitted to quitting. He quit being a DJ. Man, I realized I was never gonna make it. I like, man, fuck it. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do this uh, YouTube shit, you dig? And try to see how many niggas I can get in here for free, goddamn it, on the strength of journalism. And look, he got one right behind him, some dude with a soldier hat on and shit. Doing whatever for that clown, giving them all the headlines for free, making them a millionaire while cooning to fucking black people, putting us further down, making him a millionaire, putting him further up, and just talking about, oh, I'm here for the exposure. Yeah, he here for the fucking money, you idiot. And Trey D was up there with, uh, yeah, I don't know about giving people checks. Oh, yeah, I know you don't. You need to look into it then, because goddamn it, we. Clearly, these rappers and she y'all be thinking they OGs or whatever. They don't have a pulse on you no more. People, David Bannon and all of them, they get rich and they rub shoulders with them people and just be, I'm so happy to be here. Oh, this is an Oscar. Oh, I'm at the new matching party. Oh, that's who them niggas be. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. You witnessing the Rebel Network, goddamn it. <clears throat> you see what I mean, though, bro? It's just, it's a fucking shame, bro. But I had to speak on this. And speaking of that, bro, RIP the fucking John Weatherspoon. Because to me, you won. John Witherspoon, goddamn it. To me, you won, goddamn it. You made your jokes, goddamn it, and they never got too coonish to me. It was always regular, surface fucking funny, goddamn it. And you die like that, goddamn it. But this fake motherfucker, I want his head. I told y'all I'm coming for everybody fucking head. So subscribe now, goddamn it. An enemy of my people is my motherfucking enemy. Once again, y'all holla at me.